What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we are going to be exploring some of these secrets and easter eggs and little hidden things added into Destiny with the Age of Triumph event and of course it's 2.6.0 patch that also accompanied it. So of course there were the obvious things which we knew about that were coming in the update, those were expected but as usual Bungie were pretty sneaky and added some subtle things into the game which you might not have noticed at first so we're going to round up all of them in this video. So getting on to the first thing, this is a very strange one, it's kind of a mix of an easter egg and also a secret thing that Bungie deliberately added into the update. So this is actually an extra Vault of Glass chest, it's the 6th or 7th one depending on if you count the Praetith one, but this is an extra Vault of Glass chest which has been one of the biggest mysteries and myths and kind of like legends of the Destiny game since launch, literally it's been one of the greatest mysteries because the Bungie devs, mainly Luke Smith, had always teased about an extra Vault of Glass chest, kind of hinting that we might not have found them all, and it's always been rumoured, but no one's of course ever found it, and to this day we always wondered, is there something we haven't done yet, is there some kind of like weird challenge mode or some kind of weird puzzle we haven't unlocked to actually get this 7th or 6th chest, but for some reason Bungie added one into this area, it definitely was not there before they added it in this update, but for some reason it's right now here, and it only gives you Ascendant materials that may change in the future, or maybe in the Atheon challenge mode, it may become unlocked and give you some exotics or a quest step or something so of course if you follow the route that i did in the footage you'll make your way down here some people might not even know about this spot but this is like an alternate way to get to the templar as well always been one of my favorite areas of the entire vault it's such a cool spot with like the underground trees and all the lighting effects it's a really really cool area but it never actually served any purpose there was absolutely zero purpose for going to this route just an alternate path but now Bungie added a chest there, so maybe they just want to give everyone extra chest just for everyone to stop asking for it. But there you go, an extra Vault of Glass chest. So the next thing is a very cool easter egg, and this is something that Bungie have thrown in there to kind of honour Peter Dinklage, of course the original Dinklebot, the original voice of the ghost, before it got changed to Nolan North in the Taken King update. So in this mission, which is the first mission ever shown off for Destiny, I actually remember playing this at E3, there was a line in here where Dinklage would simply just say that wizard came from the moon, and he said it in a very kind of unenthusiastic way that a lot of people criticise, and it basically became an internet meme, a lot of people would just laugh at him saying that wizard came from the moon, so of course they removed it when they kind of redubbed the Nona North version, but they've actually thrown in a small chance of getting the original Dinklage to say that wizard came from the moon, so when I say this is rare, I seriously do mean this thing, you could maybe try for hours and it may not pop up, or you can get it on your first attempt, but honestly, this thing is very hard to get to activate, most of the time Nona North is just going to say his normal thing, but very rarely, if you're lucky, you'll get him to say this. That wizard came from the moon. <coughs> from the moon? Came from the moon? So there you go, a very small chance of it happening, but Bungie threw in a little throwback and an easter egg towards Peter Dinklage. Now something else Bungie have done to kind of throw back to the original days of Destiny and something you may or may not have noticed is that the Destiny tile is now back to the original icon, no longer Rise of Iron and of course the startup screen, the menu and also the music more importantly is no longer Rise of Iron themed, it's just plain old Destiny. This is something people have been asking for since literally the Taken King when this and that soundtrack for a year straight got very boring. So now it's finally the original classic vanilla soundtrack that a lot, a lot of people on Reddit have been asking for. So essentially all the expansions have been wiped clean and now it's just vanilla Destiny. So next up there are 10 brand new ghost shells, the hidden ones you can revive. I'm going to breeze through super quickly where they are so you can know where to grab them. And these are all really self-explanatory, really obvious places, which is why I'll go through quickly in the interest of time. But these clips should be everything you need to know to understand where exactly they are. So the first one is in the tower in the tree, simply for struggling to climb up, just follow the route I did. Very easy, but it's at the top in the middle there. The next one is in the opening section of the Crota's Rage, you can hop in there solo. It's on the edge of this structure down to the left. Now the next eight are in PvP maps, so hop into private matches and we'll go through in alphabetical order the same in the menu. So the first one is Anomaly and this one is dead simple. The giant thing in the middle, just hop onto the base it's sitting on and you can collect it. The next one is a Cauldron in the bones near the cave near Sea Flag. The ghost is in the middle of the spine of the ceiling. The next one is a Drifter, goes to the A Flag and there's simply one floating on the edge which you can grab as well. So after that is the Dungeons in the middle of the map. With the crystallized wizard you can see the ghost at the top of it you can grab it very easy by jumping and then after that is exodus blue near the a flag inside this rusted car you'll find it sitting next to the skeletons and then on frontier you'll see just over the rocks where everyone camps and snipes on just off the edge of the cliff is this ghost shell and then onto twilight gap you'll see in between a and c opposite those big cannons where special spawns you'll see it inside the crate room and the final ghost shell is on the PlayStation exclusive map Sector 618. So the low side where the spark spawns in Rift, at the very end of this corridor you'll see near the heavy is the final ghost shell. 
So the next thing is something that I'm sure the majority of you guys already know about, but for the few of you that are very confused about the record book node, Disturb the Remains. So the simple answer is to go to Earth in Patrol and go to the Skywatch area, and then you can disturb the remains inside the cave. It's actually an Easter egg referring to the loot cave initially when Destiny launched. So hopefully that's answered all the questions of those new Year 3 players that are asking me what that means. So next up is another thing the game doesn't actually tell you how to do, and that's how to get the Husk of the Pit beginning, the Necrochasm quest of course, getting the Year 3 version of it. So the entire quest itself is very straightforward, you just follow the steps, so I don't really need to explain it. But how to get the Husk of the Pit in the first place isn't that obvious, so what you need to do is simply get it from killing a larger hive enemies and stories or strikes or nightfalls. The best bet is to do Hive Ogres if you hop into the Tannic Strike, which is currently the Nightfall. This room has a bunch of Hive Ogres you can easily kill, and the drop rates on the Husk are pretty generous, so it shouldn't be too hard to get one. You can also do some other story missions like the Shrine of Oryx, which does also have Hive Ogres, but this strike is probably your best bet. I'd recommend you keep trying to get a Husk that requires Thrall kills, because it will make the quest a million times quicker later down the line. The ones that require wizard or knight kills are just really, really time consuming. So head over there, grab a husk that requires thrall kills, and then follow the simple steps to get the new necrochasm. So next up, some of the cool little things that were added in the patch notes of the 2.6.0 patch. There are a new item called Knuckles of AO, which essentially let you get extra loot by popping them just before a raid encounter. So you get them from the opening section of any raid, and then you use them to get extra loot drops. And it'll say in the kill feed your wish has been granted if it gives you extra loot. They also made it so three of coins now work on the Templar, Atheon, Iryut, and Crota. Now into Iron Banner, some really cool stuff here. The Year 2 Iron Banner armor will now be dropping after matches, and they've boosted the drop rates on Year 1 and 2 armor. And the next thing, they've added support for Iron Banner Mayhem Clash. So yes, that's right, expect Iron Banner to be Mayhem sometime soon. Another pretty cool addition is that Zer is now going to sell two exotic weapon bundles each week in addition to his regular sale items. Each bundle costs 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust and contains one exotic weapon and a matching weapon ornament for that gun. So that's pretty cool for any collectors if you're missing some exotics and want to get their ornaments as well. This should be something worth grabbing. So do let me know how you guys are getting on with the Age of Triumph event and also what kind of loot drops you've gotten from the Crota Raid so far. I myself and pretty much everyone I know have managed to get all four exotic raid primaries so they do seem to be very very generous as Bungie suggested. So pretty cool to get these elemental primaries finally so let me know how you're getting on with the event. Of course if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful a like rating would be much appreciated. Be sure to subscribe for many more videos including of course the Destiny 2 worldwide reveal trailer happening tomorrow so keep your eyes peeled right here for a ton of Destiny 2 videos and of course to stay up to date with the latest Destiny 2 information. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next one.